Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing January's monthly budget. I've been off the radar for a while. I'm going to be completely honest. I've not really been budgeting since about summer. I've popped in a few videos here and there, but I've just not been in the right mindset to be doing a budget. But we're heading into 2023 and as we usually do, we set up our budget and we get on the road with everything that needs to be done. The planner I'm using, I have done an unboxing video, so please click the card above to get a detailed view of the budgeting planner that I am using. It is quite affordable in my opinion, very minimal in my opinion, and practically easy to use in my opinion. So I'm going to talk through what I've done already. As you can see, I've pre-filled most of my categories because it's the first time I'm using a budget planner that's not mine. So I'm a bit all over the place with it, but we're going to get through it. So I've got the month and the year, which is January 2023. My goals for the, that month is to stick to my budget and do overtime if possible. Now you've got a checklist section and I've basically written down the things that I need to look into, I need to remember, and I'll tick them off as they are completed. So I've got my health insurance, my buy now, pay later payments, and I'll just go into this quickly while we're on it. I'm a single mom of one on a low income, and you guys know I'm a finance babe, and I say it proudly because there's no shame behind financing things that are 0% APR that you have included in your budget and you know you can afford all right nothing wrong with that at all so I do include that a lot of things in my home just started to give up the ghost literally one behind the other and that's what we do here you might not agree with it I agree with it there's nothing wrong with it so that's what my BNPL is buy now pay later payments so I've got to make sure that I'm making those and then I've got car repairs, servicing and MOT, which is going to be a hefty bill. We're looking at around 540 for the car repairs and servicing and MOT could be around 400, 450. It just depends on what needs to be done and all that stuff. And then in regards to the broadband, the Bloody Bastards Virgin Media, I'm going to put you on blast right now. They have been like cutting my internet off at certain times during the night, during the day, different intervals. And I need to chase that up and get that rectified. So those are my things that I'm going to be doing for that month. So now coming down in this section, we've got the pretty much explanatory bits, which is my income. So my income, you lot know, I do not separate my income. I just include it as one income. So I put a dash and I'm bringing in 1,761 pounds, 70 pence. Now, this is a huge amount, okay? And this is not going to be every month. It so happened that I was able to do a couple hours of overtime at work because someone had an injury. So I had to sort of cover in for the person that usually takes over my shift when I'm done. And that's how I was able to earn a little bit extra. I shouldn't really have to explain this, but I am very transparent on my journey here on this platform. And I don't want you guys to get comfortable with this figure because this is not what I bring in on a regular basis. But I know for a fact this is what I'm getting for the month of January. Now, I'm going to be chatting here a little bit. I get paid tomorrow, okay? And how I budget, if you're new here, by the way, hi and welcome. My name's Gracia. I'm a mom of one. I'm a single mom on a low income. And I just channel through life by sticking to my budget paying down debt and just doing what I can do to survive really. But now with the economy in the crisis that it's in, things are harder, things are more expensive and it's just one of those things where you just got to go with the flow. So that's who I am. I didn't introduce myself so I just wanted to do that in case you're new. Um, I was going to say something and I actually forgot what I was going to say. <clears throat> la 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 la. I don't know. I can't remember what I was going to say, honestly. What was I going to say? Okay, I think it's sort of come back to me. I basically never include overtime unless I've got it in my pay. All right? So, I was saying about getting paid tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 21st. So, I'm getting paid on the 21st. And that pay 
has to last me until the 25th of January. Are you understanding? And we all know that January have 19 months and 77 days in it. If you know, you know. It's the longest month known to mankind. All right? And with everything about to go up in regards to our electricity, our energy bills over here in the UK, I don't know what's going to happen. So this is what we've got for now. It's big and it looks like juicy and it's like mwah, mwah, mwah. But I'm not excited about it because I know it's going to go. So after saying all that, we're going to be filling in our 3% savings. So we've got our saving box on this side. So we're going to fill this in. And like I was explaining in the actual unboxing video, they don't actually have a total category and a leftover. So I'm going to sort of do my own. All right. So my 3% saving, you guys know, I've increased that to £50, okay? I've increased it to 50 Eventually, I want to get to 100 But um, right now, we can't do that. And my help to save, the max you could put into that is 50 And you lot know this amount goes towards buying a home at some point. It's not a lot of money, but it's a start, all right? So don't knock it. Okay, so we're going to put our total. So I'm going to go in with a highlighter here just to sort of let myself know where I'm at, okay? It's very important for me. You guys know I'm a visual person, so I have to have this going. So I'm just going to highlight the box. You could personalize your planner any way you wish to. This is just something that I do, and it's all crooked, but we're not aiming for perfection. Let me fold this page over. So I've got like sort of a better, better control. And I don't know if it's nerves and I don't know why I'm nervous. And my heart's beating really fast, but um, my line's crooked. So we are going to put in this box total. Okay, so our total, and I don't think, I think I went over that too much. That looks a bit sloppy now, doesn't it? So anyway, our total is 100 and we're going to put leftover. We've got to subtract 100 from the 1761. So that's going to leave us with 1661.70, I think. But well, let's calculate it because I don't want to be on here acting like a math scholar and then it's wrong. 1761.70 from a hundred okay yeah sixteen sixty one seventy one so that's what we've got left over so that's one thousand six hundred and sixty one pounds seventy one pence and then we've just got our calendar down here which i filled in but we're not going to really be using that right now if i do i will come back and show you guys um me using that Okay, so we're going to head over to our monthly budget now. Okay, this is all a part of it, but this is where you break down your home, food, healthcare, loans, um, personal, transportation, entertainment, and other. These are your categories. You could fill them in as you please. I wanted to fill mine in this way because it makes more sense to me. So our rent is going to be 350 Now, if you've been following me from since April last year, or whenever I started, you know that I usually pay about 420, but I've reduced that. I can't afford that 420. There's too many things to pay. So I'm just gonna be paying four weeks rent, which equates to 350 because that's 95 times four. And there you go. I'm lying, I'm lying, guys. Ooh, okay, sorry, 95 times four. <laughs> it's 380. I wish it was 350 though. I was like, that looked a bit small. That was a bit of a small number, but it's 380. My apologies, but we could dream, right? We could dream. Okay, so 380 is the rent. Now, our council tax is coming in at 104. Electricity, 55. Gas, 7188. 
And now these numbers look so little and super, super, super affordable. But I'm telling you, these prices are going to hike, okay? My gas supplier is already telling me I'm not paying enough. So I know that it's going to slap me in the face. But for right now, we're going to just rock with it. Water, £30.77. Pence. Mobile phone, $24.69. And I, I used to round up, but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just like paying what I need to pay. Internet, £39. Now, I've got an issue with my internet because they were supposed to credit my account. And I don't think they have because they've been taking money out. So I've got to call up the company about that. And bank account fee is £2. So that's it for my home section. So we're going to add that up. So we've already got our 380 plus. 104 plus 55 plus 71.88 plus 30.77 plus 24.69 plus 39 plus 2 so that gives us 707.34 all right so i think instead of me using the highlighter which is a bit messy to be honest i'm going to use a colored pen I'm going to go in with this pinky colour here and I'm just going to put total is £707.34 pence. and I usually double check this you know and I'm writing this in permanent ink 380 plus 104 plus 55 you could see i'm a bit rusty plus 71.88 plus 30.77 plus 24.69 plus 39 plus 2 okay 707.34 and i'm gonna put leftover i'm just gonna put lo because we don't have a lot of space so lo is short for leftover all right and we've got 16 61 71 so 16 this is the best way to budget as well guys in my opinion if you budget this way you know exactly what you've got left over and you could make decisions and changes as you're going along your budget instead of getting to the end of your budget and realize, realizing you don't have enough this is an absolutely amazing method i've been using this since i started my journey so it's good to do it this way but only if it works for you but i highly recommend it so 1661.71 from 707.34 that leaves us with 954 pounds 37 pence i'm going to go down this way and then go over that way so let me carry on so groceries i'm going to go in at 140 okay like i said Everything sky high. Kaylan is going to get 60. So 140 plus 60. Let's see how good our max is. 6 and 4 is 10. That's 200 pounds, right? There we go. Yeah. So total is 200. And we've got LO. So, do, 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 9 minus 2, 7. So, we've got 754.37. Look at me out here being a mathy, 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 mathy. I can't even speak English. Mathy, mathy. Mm, okay, be quiet, girl. Be quiet. Let's just double check it. I have to double check, guys. It's just my brain. My brain will be like, what if it's wrong? So, there we go. 754.37. All right. We're moving all down to the east side. All right, dentist. So we're coming in at $22.90. My dentist has now been privatized, all right? And finding a dentist is hard. So please don't recommend moving because <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, okay? So $22.90 and then I've got health insurance, which is $11.90. So my $22.90 covers like you know my checkups any cleaning any hygiene stuff that kind of thing anything that needs filling i've got a pair of pocket for that babes it is what it is all right welcome to the uk 
Right, so 22.90 plus 11.90, that's 34.80. All right, so total is 34.80. 480 from 754.37 leaves us with 719. So LO 719.57. All right, we're going down to the dark side now. This is our debt. Oh my lord. But you know what? There's going to be an amazing surprise in about maybe seven, eight months. There's going to be an amazing surprise. So, you know, just stick with me on the journey and don't judge me. If you don't have debt, that's amazing. I do. And life goes on. Okay? So, debt two. Debt two is 75. And we've got debt three, which comes in at a whopping 38.18. Then we've got debt five, which is a 27.91. So, we've got 75 plus 38.18 plus 27.91 and that gives us 141.09 so total is 141.09 and we subtract that from our 719.57 so that leaves us with 578 it looks like we've got loads of money, don't we? Ooh. 578.48. Okay, there we are. Now we're going to head on up to personal. So we've got subscription. Subscriptions is coming in at 299. Personal care, we are going to go a bit higher and put 30 pounds. So we've got Gracias HA, that's here appointment. Gracias here appointment is going to be £50. Kaylan's here appointment is £15. This used to be 10 inflation, it's gone up £5. Clothing, we're not putting anything next to that. Okay, so we're going to add that up. All right, so we've got 2 plus 30 plus 50 plus 15 that's 97.99 so we're going to put our total 97.99 why does that look wrong okay and we're going to subtract that from 578.48 so minus 578.48 and that leaves us with hello 480 49 all right so my transportation bit i'm not quite sure i know my car repairs is 540 but i'm going to be honest that's going to go on my credit card and um, I'm going to explain this in another video. So like I said, make sure your post notifications are on. And I'm going to tell you how I'm going to sort of propel and pay and whatever it is. These, okay. So um, I'm going to zero these out. The car repairs. And the reason I'm zeroing, zeroing them out is because I don't want to put all my money towards that and there's a reason for that you're going to see there's always a method to my madness now petrol we are going to be allocating 100 all right so our total is 100 and left over so lo 100 from 480 is 380, right? 380, 49. We don't need a calculator for that, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I don't think we do. Now, entertainment. Listen, babes, we're financially challenged. We can't do that. Our entertainment will be sitting at the window looking at the snowflakes 
okay our entertainment will be taken in nature when we're in the car our entertainment will be drinking water and minding our business and our entertainment will be putting the heater on for an hour or two and watching a bit of tv okay that's fine it's okay it's all right now let's pop on down to other so for other now we've got our school fees all right oh jesus be a shield all around me so school fees we're coming in at 47 and that's because Kaylan has a credit on his account at the moment so this is going to go back up at some point so school fees is 47 and train fare i'm allocating 50 pounds for that okay all right so i feel like that's everything but i also feel like i've forgotten something and i don't know what the hell i forgot but we're going to keep it moving we're going to have to go over and add everything up and make sure that the numbers are numbering before i add all of this up because we've got 380 i need to make sure it's 380 that we've got all right so i'm going to add everything up separately you guys know how i do better to be safe than sorry i'm going to speed this through okay that's correct so we've got 380 48 to go around this area okay so what i'm gonna do now we've got 47 pounds so 47 and then we've got 50 so 47 plus 50 is 97 so we've got 97 pounds and we've basically got 380 left over so what i'm going to do the 97 pounds i'm going to subtract that from the 380 point 49 all right so that leaves us with 283.49 now don't get excited because that's not extra money so other it's going to go to I need to get a fancy, I need to get a heading that, that makes me, you know, climax. I don't know why I use a sexual term, but it is what it is, isn't it? We're all grown-ups here. I'm going to call it the fuck it off section. And I'm going to put it in all caps. Right? Now, this section is going to make sense with, to you. Like I said, you just got to keep watching my journey. All right? So, we've got 283... Four nine. Now this isn't spare money. I cannot touch this. If I touch this, I am royally. And please, if you've got kids, cover their ears. You ready? If I touch this two eighty three forty nine, I am royally fucked. Do you understand? So I can't touch that. Yeah. So we're gonna add that up. Forty seven plus fifty plus two eight three point four nine. So that gives us our three eighty forty nine. Okay. Total three eight ten forty nine LO, which is left over, is zero. All right, so that's zero based budgeting. Now I know it's like all oh, secret. Like I said to you guys, I do have some other debts that are not listed here. So this is going to be split amongst them. It has to be. I've got deadlines. And once I film my debt update videos, things will make a bit more sense to you guys. But this is what the fuck it off money is going to. Meaning, we're going to fuck off the debt, yeah? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not going to impregnate us. We're going to get rid of it, babes. But there's a time frame. Some of them are three months, six months, nine months, 12 months and so on so that's what i'm doing i know i sound like a raging lunatic but if you're new here welcome to my life welcome to my world this is who i am <laughs> we do things a bit different so just to give you a recap and my little sticker says the best way to stick to a budget is to start one 
I know this because it says stick to a budget, right? But you need the gentle reminder. So this is it. This is what it looks like. This is the overview for January. So everything has to be like this. It, it has to be. There's no compromise. We can't have any pop-ups. Like I said, for these two, they're going to unfortunately have to go onto the credit card because I've not got no money to pay them. Now, you might say, why not use this? I can't use this because what, what did I say before? I've got a deadline. So follow my journey and you'll be able to comprehend what it is I mean and see how I use this money, okay? It's not for me to go shopping and buy a Louis bag or, you know, small weed. I would really like to try, you know, I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I need to be professional. I'm so sorry. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Have a Merry Christmas, okay? Have a Merry Christmas when it comes around. Eat to your heart content and remember the reason for the season. And please don't go out there spending money on things to show the Jones. Because remember what we say the Joneses are broke okay we're just financially financially challenged but the jones is there broke okay so have a great time guys and i'll see you guys in my next video thumbs up subscribe it's free turn your post notifications on and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye bye